Hello to all you ski club members. I hope you're enjoying the abundance of snow that we've got in the UK and you're getting out there and trying to put your skis on and ski anything that you can. Here's my five exercises for January. Okay, as you all know, I like to start with something that'll get the heart rate up and the body warmed. Okay, we're gonna separate our upper and lower body. We're gonna take the feet, jump them to the side, bring them back to center, jump them to the other side, back to center. Once you get to here, you can take a little hop, pushing off the outside ski, outside ski, and back into the middle. Okay, so it's a four part movement. It's gonna look like this, as quick as you can. Okay, do that for around 30 to 45 seconds. Recently, I've been getting really into my standing core exercises. I don't love standing on the mat. I think it's a much more applicable to be kind of more in our ski position when we're doing core. This one does look a little silly though. You're gonna have your elbows at 90 degrees, nice and high. And all you're gonna do is bring that knee and connect. Okay, as you connect, really squeeze that side down. Okay, you're gonna do 30 reps one side. Again, a little bit of balance challenging here on that standing leg, but really squeeze down and connect. Good work. Okay, 30 one side, and the same the other side, shift over, and then really connect. Definitely find one side's got more mobility and strength than the other. And uh, you know what? It's fine to look a bit silly when you're doing this. Okay, next up, we're gonna do a little bit of single leg work. I know you've all been working hard on your strength and your balance, so this should be no problem at all. Okay, you're gonna lift up onto one leg. The other leg, you're gonna cross into a four in front of the body and do a little dip. Okay, so a little single-legged movement here. Single-legged squat, keep that core switched on. Once you've done one, I've just demonstrated three, you're gonna take that knee high. Take it around your body and a slow kick behind you. Get the hamstrings firing as well, and the glute on this leg. So lots of muscle groups working here. Okay, try and make it really controlled, and make sure that knee tracks over the toe in front. So we've got a figure four squat, and then a squeeze kick back. And then obviously you're gonna do it on the other side too. I would aim for 12 to 15 reps. Don't hurry them. The one muscle group that I get asked a lot about aesthetically is about the tricep, the old bingo wings that we all have. And actually it's really helpful when you're pushing, when you're skating to have strong triceps. And this one, I really like this exercise because it combines triceps with some core and stability through the hips, okay? So you're gonna find a bench, a step, okay? Your legs are far apart, the further away you put them, the harder it is but we do need them bent for the second part of the exercise. So really nice, slow tricep dip. Then you're gonna kick across and connect that hand to that foot. Tricep, connect, connect. Okay, really lovely. Again, don't go for too much speed. Good control here. For my last exercise, I'm gonna to go totally off piste. I'm gonna bring some yoga and self therapy in. I've been doing this a lot while spending hours in the ski boots at the moment. And we hold a lot of stress in our feet. Now, if you've got bad knees, you might not be able to do this, put a boulder under your feet. But what we're gonna do is we're basically crossing our feet over and sitting back. And the top foot applies pressure in the plantar fascia and the arch of your bottom foot and you sit back into it and you can just breathe, slow everything down and release into it. Okay, so if we're doing our left side, we're gonna bring our right foot up, I'll turn away so you can see it, cross it in to the, uh, to the middle of the left foot. And then all you're gonna do is sit back with that weight. Now this is a very intense feeling. It's quite, you know, it shouldn't feel pain, but there should be, there's very likely to be tightness there. So in this position, you can take some of the weight off by kind of going into child's pose in front of you, or you can stand up with the hips forward and just ease in 